Hi everyone, in this Adobe Express tutorial, we're going to see creation process of these three nice Instagram post templates. Each post has images generated with Firefly in the Adobe Express. And the other interesting thing about this post template designs is I asked ChatGPT to uh, give me three Instagram post template design ideas. And I asked for even design font and background image generation prompt suggestions and it gave me these detailed suggestions as you see and uh, i recorded my process of creating these so let's get started so i'm gonna click uh, text to image to generate the image first and choose square and the next thing i'm going to do is copying and pasting the prompt chat gpt generated right i'm gonna click the content type drop down and select photo to keep the style a little between photograph and illustration so the prompt is create a landscape image with ai generated landmarks or famous locations from around the world sounds great for a travel theme post right so i'm gonna click generate this one looks great right actually let's check the other ones i think i'm gonna go with this one let's make it full size or i think i'm gonna keep it at the top left corner and i'm gonna change the background color to something from the photo so let's uh, try putting some text. So I'm copying the text, explore the unseen beauty that uh, ChatGPT suggested and uh, selecting the text tool, looking at your text and selecting the text and pasting it and also changing the font to something handwritten or elegant as also GPT suggested. So I'm going to take the text down and write a script to the font name box to filter the script fonts quickly. I think this one looks better. But I'm going to separate the text to make things a little more interesting. I want Explore to be bigger and actually change the text's alignment and of course making the huge text box smaller now i can paste the rest of the text and style it right i'm gonna tweak the placement and size a little bit to see if i can create something better also let's align the rest of the text after some alignment and nudging, I'm quite happy with the look actually. And let's see if we can add any other visual elements to make our post template even better. So I'm gonna click the elements. I'm gonna search for some icons. I'm gonna type just travel in the search box. This one looks pretty good actually. I can place it somewhere that we can that we can associate with the word explore, right? And of course, I'm going to change its color, something from the photo. Maybe to the corner, I can put also something like this. Maybe we can move the tickets to somewhere like this, right? Or edit the size. I guess that looks better. I'm quite happy how this design turned out actually. We can move on to the second one. So I'm gonna click add and select same size to add another page with the very same size. And I'm gonna check the second answer that ChatGPT gave me or the second alternative in the answer. which is nature photography showcase i'm gonna select media click text to image again actually this time we can create a landscape image to cover the top section of our post and we can place our text below the photo so i'm gonna copy the prompt chat gpt gave me to generate the photo 
and paste it and click generate. Those results are awesome, right? I think I'm gonna pick this one since it looks richer in terms of colors and leaves and shapes. Let's select a background color for our post from the photo. Something different than white, right? Some earthy tone from the photo would be okay, I guess. I don't know, maybe something like this. So let's place our text which is going to be beauty in every detail. The font suggestions are using a minimalist font, which is going to be something sans serif, right? I'm gonna check the sans serif fonts from the list. Maybe something like this one, but I'm gonna edit the font weight. Maybe also in this text, using text in multiple text boxes might be better so i'm gonna cut this part of the text i'm gonna place the beauty somewhere like this and paste the rest again edit the text box enter it and maybe make it bigger and edit the font weight of the rest of the text to be something thinner maybe we can try regular maybe we can also try adding some outline to the text to increase its readability right i don't know something like the background down there yeah it makes sense actually maybe edit the outline thickness let's make it 60 and make sure the text is centered both horizontally and vertically so let's check its uh, alignment. As I see, both texts are centered perfectly. We can also try nature photography as another text element, right? Maybe all caps. And maybe as an arc or circle. Obviously not there. maybe we can put some spaces and rotate it a little bit make it bold or something i don't know it might not be that necessary but i think i'm gonna keep it maybe making this text a little smaller could be better right Let's make sure it's centered and edits its vertical position. Let's try also adding a shape or icon in this post. So I'm gonna click elements and icon. Let's pick a camera icon, right? Maybe something minimal like this, right? Actually, the way Express placed the icon doesn't look bad at all. <laughs> we can leave it this way or we can try repositioning it after taking it below and maybe rotating it and resizing it and maybe editing its opacity or editing its placement. I don't know, I think it should be centered also, right? I'm gonna add its, its opacity again. Yeah, I guess we can leave it like this. So let's move on to the third design. So I'm gonna click add. And click same size. So our last post that we're gonna create with the help of the chat GPT is going to be a book recommendation post. Again, I'm gonna start with generation of the image. And uh, I'm thinking about covering the whole screen this time so i'm gonna pick square and copy and paste the prompt chat gpt gave me and hitting enter which is generate a bookshelf filled with ai designed book covers or an open book with fantasy elements emerging from its pages you can see the generated images i'm gonna make the image cover the whole background and try the other ones
I guess the first one is close to what we want, right? I'm gonna try to place the text on it. The text uh, ChatGPT suggested is dive into the new worlds. And it also suggests a hashtag book lovers, which can be included in the post text, but uh, we might incorporate it also in the design. So I'm gonna click add your text and paste it. ChatGPT suggests an elegant serif font, but first I'm gonna change its color, obviously. And maybe adding an outline is going to make it more readable again. Something from the background, right? And I'm gonna increase the thickness. And let's select a serif font. This one looks quite elegant, actually. Yeah, definitely. I guess again we can make it into two lines and nudge the text a little bit and also include the book lover's text as an arc or something, right? Let's change its color and add an outline again and also since we are going to make this an arc I'm gonna change it to a sans-serif font and all caps, which is going to make it look better, right? I'm gonna explore some placement options. This looks quite nice, actually. Maybe we can make this bold. Also, let's try this text font weight. I think also this font looks better in bold font weight, right? Yeah, I guess well, we completed another post template design, right? Hope you liked the tutorial. Uh, be sure to check my other Express uh, tutorial, the only one I have so far at the ending screen. And also be sure to subscribe and give a like if you haven't already, if you like my content, of course. And uh, see you in the next one.